decisions. Okay, let's be safe and put this here. We're going to make our box black since that's what I originally wanted. Um, okay. I don't know if I should reference our book for this one more time. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to do a 13 by 13 sheet since our board is 12 by 12. Um, and when we fold over, that will bring us at least an inch to a half inch on the inside. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when I actually do it. Um, Why does that make me nervous? Okay, just checking. Okay. Alright, we're gonna do it. 13. And by 13. Alright, there's no going back. I cut it. Alright. I'll do one with you guys and then I'm gonna just do the other one off camera. Okay, well, okay. Correction, next one we're gonna do 14 by 14 because this is a little tight. It'll still work, um, but it's a little tight. Uh, so number one thing is, is it's gonna flat like that. Uh, you're gonna wanna cut your corners, I'm not going to glue it down, but you're going to want to cut your corners across like this, um, and then they'll fold in nicely. Um, I'll show you guys in a second. Let's put some glue on this bad boy. Okay, and then this is where having the watered down glue is really helpful, actually, because it just goes on there. Um, there's one thing I want for this part. Okay, we're also going to have our bone folder uh, to help really make sure that the paper goes onto this nice and flat. Center. Center it. Ah, I'm gonna get glue everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up. I'm looking at it real quick before I press it down, so make sure. And then we're just going to go for it. Press her down. And then I'm going to flip her over. She's looking pretty good. Take our bone folder. I love bone folders. They're really nice straight edges. Just drag it across. Just really emphasizes that for you. Okay. And I also sometimes like to get the edges of my box. Okay, so like that. Okay. And it should look like that on the inside and our outside is nice, sleek, and black. And then there's, I mean, there's really one way to do corners, but you could do them two ways. So I'll show you the second way, but I'm not going to do it that way, which is Okay, so you have your corner here, and you could cut like that. So you have this little split here. And then you'll glue this edge inward. But you'll have to trim that corner. 
because they're going to cross. Um, the other way to do your corners, which is the preferred way, is more so, I don't know why I keep lifting it up, uh, to cut across this way. And so that's what I'm going to do on my other corners. And really, I'm going to get rid of that split. And we're going to... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that one might be too close. Alright, so there's that. And then back to our glue. And glue your edges. Uh, and again, you could do the edge of the board. I like to go for the edge of the paper. So right there. Like so. And I do like to try and get like the edge of the board there. Okay, that looks good. And grab your bone folder again. You could do this by hand, but bone folder is going to be really more helpful. But it'll help you bring your edge over. Okay, we might have put a little too much glue because it came through and got on our bone folder, but it's fine. see the corners. Uh, and we're going to also specifically put, okay, so this is a smaller one, so we're going to make sure that the other side is done better. Alright, but that's looking good, and if anything, I'm going to take uh, some little pieces and just cover my corners so they just look more finished. Alright, so we did the second of our boards and this one, the board, remember it's 12 by 12, so I cut the fabric to be 14 so that it would have more of an overlap and our corners will just look nicer. Um, so this one looks a lot cleaner. Um, the other one I did a little fix. Uh, and then now we're moving on to these guys which can be hard to uh, cover and I'm trying to remember how one does that. Currently we are going for the length of our paper which is just a tiny bit short so I'm gonna have to kind of finagle that but um, it's okay. Uh, so what you do is you get a piece of scrap paper like I use this receipt and you're gonna put at least like a half inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, half inch, whatever your choice is underneath and then you'll bring it up over the side and you want to make sure that you have at least a half inch if not an inch laying flat on the inside if that makes sense. And then you can take that scrap paper which this is a little too short and you can measure it to your actual paper and then that's why our paper is just a little bit bigger than the scrap paper to make up for the fact that that was a little too short um, which ended up being seven inches so this is seven inches tall whereas the height on our box is about two and a half inches uh, for depth purposes and then the way that you will then wrap this guy um, oops. I'm like thinking, I'm like if I do it towards you maybe it'll make sense. Alright, so you'll put it on here and then you'll glue here and then you'll glue here 
and then you'll tuck your insides all in like that and on the bottom this will all be tucked in um, so that's the next part that I'm gonna do is gluing this together of paper um, since we have the nice um, lip there you just cut a sheet to kind of overlap over that um, and just glue that real quick and then lay your paper down and then I use the bone folder to you know just really like smooth it out so that it's really flat okay and currently this would be the top of the box and then this is the bottom so you close like so and then we have our black piece here and our other black piece that will go at the bottom so this is what our Yay! box is looking like um, the other thing I remembered is I cut this piece of ribbon because uh, I want to have a pull tab so that you can um, open the box. So this will go kind of right here and then you'll be able to pull and oops, didn't mean to do that. pull and then this part will open 
um, and this will go between the two pieces so that it, it looks really kind of nice and seamless and you'll have a little flap like that. This one's a little, it came, uh, it's a little too long, but you'll just glue it between the two right there and then it'll sit like this and it'll look like that and then they can open it and then like I said it'll open the the top part of the box. I keep grabbing the bottom, but it'll just open the top part of the box. Uh, so that's the Someday soon I'm gonna make it.